Tree Party and welcome to day 362 of Reese's Stories. And today I'm going to be reading you a story called Penguin, written and illustrated by Polly Dunbar. <coughs> ben ripped open his present. Inside was a penguin. Hello, penguin, said Ben. What shall we play, said Ben. Penguin said nothing. Can you, can't you talk, said Ben. Penguin said nothing. Ben tickled Penguin. Penguin didn't laugh. Ben pulled his funniest face for Penguin. Penguin didn't laugh. Ben put on a happy hat and sang a silly song and did a dizzy dance. Penguin said nothing. Will you talk to me if I stand on my head, said Ben. Penguin didn't say a word. So Ben prodded Penguin and blew a raspberry at Penguin. Penguin said nothing. Ben made fun of Penguin and imitated Penguin. Penguin said nothing. Ben ignored Penguin. Penguin ignored Ben. So Ben fired Penguin into outer space. Penguin came back to Earth without a word. Ben tried to feed Penguin to a passing lion. lion. Penguin said nothing. Lion didn't want to eat Penguin. Ben got upset. Penguin said nothing. Say something! Lion ate Ben for being too noisy. The end. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh no, that she isn't finished. Sorry. Uh, penguin bit lion very hard on the nose. <laughs> Wow, said Ben, and Penguin said this. <laughs> Everything. The end. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful story called Penguin, written and illustrated by Polly Dunbar. And sorry for my mistake that I thought the book was finished, but it wasn't. Um, so yes, it's been a horrible day today, as you all know, uh, and here in Limerick. And we got hail here, and we got rain, and windy, and now it's a bit milder and it's clear and there's no rain and it's mother's day tomorrow so <laughs> be nice to your parents and your mom and everyone and so i guess i'll see you all tomorrow for day 300 and 63 of Racist Stories. Two more days. So bye everybody. Two more days that somebody will be joining me. So bye everybody.